morning. It's the morning buzz, <laughs> episode 11. This is day 11 of a 31 day challenge to do a morning buzz every morning. And uh, well, hallelujah, I woke up this morning, so that's wonderful. So today is Sunday, December 13th. Uh, we are now four days away from the release of Star Wars. Yeah, The Force Awakens. I'm flat excited, I can't wait. Uh, I've got six tickets and I'm heading out there with um, uh, misconstrued herself, Rihanna Deal, Sky Brown, uh, I believe Jilda Yancey's gonna be there with us. There's gonna be something like a, a hundred people, I don't remember, but um, we're all gonna go check out the premiere together. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's December 17th and my daughter comes down December 16th from NAU. Hi baby, I love you, daddy misses you. Um, she's in college, so that's what happens when you hit 46. So birthday's coming up uh, January 3rd, I'll be 47. Uh, I'm looking to put something together, so maybe y'all want to join me for that. Uh, we'll probably end up at, uh, I don't know, Copper Blues or someplace like that. Anyway, uh, this morning I was online and I was checking out Facebook and uh, I ran across a post that a friend of mine, Kevin Fell, uh, posted and it was really interesting to me and then I really got the spirit of it and I want to share it with you, okay? So, uh, and it starts out like this. What to do if Syrian refugees relocate to your neighborhood? It's kind of like a list of things you should do. So the first thing is bring them food, clothes, cooking utensils, bring hygiene products, uh, books, toys, or shoes. Um, bring them things that they might need. Apart from your, your genuine friendship, this is what they'll probably need. And uh, by the way, I believe that, that this is the true spirit of America, you know, and you know, you never know, you might just touch someone's heart. So that was really inspiring for me. And, uh, and I gotta say, you know, I wonder what it was like for the first settlers who came here, you know, were they greeted, were they welcomed, were they accepted? And uh, I believe they were, but you know, this is our shot. This is our shot to make something good. Not make it right, but make it good, because the people of Syria are really, it's bad. You know, it's the only thing that I can say, because uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that, you know, if you're leaving your country because people are trying to kill you because you don't worship the same way they do, or any number of reasons, whatever the reason is, you know, wouldn't it be great to show up to a country that says, you know what, come on in, we'll take care of you. Um, a lot of people have the problem with, you know, well, they're Syrians and they're probably, you know, terrorists and, and everything else. Well, if they are terrorists, you know, we're going to have to deal with them. And that's another reason why gun control should stay the way it is. The gun laws should stay the way they are. And that Americans should, you know, be armed. And uh, we should be armed in public. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree with what Sheriff Arpaio says about that. You know what? If somebody's shooting into a crowd you know, you need to draw a weapon and take care of that and, uh, and be careful and be uh, properly trained. That's the word I want to use. But, you know, who knows if that's even the situation because for the most part, um, we're not seeing that. You know, we're seeing s spots. And if it starts to grow, then I think the, the American public is going to wake up a little bit and stop saying it's guns and start saying it's bad people with guns. And, um, but as for the people that are coming over from Syria that are refugees, Let's take care of them. Let's take care of them better than their own fucking country does. All right? And, uh, and let's be Americans about it. Okay. That's all I got to say. Um, well, for episode 11, this has been the Morning Buzz. I'm Mike G. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.